Hi, this is Patrick from Bimobject and this is the newly released Crawford DL6010S dock leveler from ASA Alloy Entrance Systems, which is available for you to download now at the bimobject.com portal or the ASA Alloy Entrance Systems private cloud. What has been developed here is the uh, the full series of the dock levelers available for you. Uh, we'll have a deeper look of, of the DL6010S in this video, but the other uh, variations is of course also available. So we'll start off here uh, to the right when we have the object selected. This is the user interface uh, which works pretty much as a small configurator. Uh, you can choose different uh, nominal lengths and widths and heights and so on to define how big you want your dock leveler. And de de depending on what sizes you choose, you get different options to uh, to adjust it. So for example, if I choose a specific length size, I get different width sizes. And all other measurements are, of course, also uh, visible here, even if they're not edible, editable. So as you can see, it, it updates accordingly in the 3D window when we change the nominal length and width. Uh, and if you continue to the next page here, you have a selection guide. This selection guide will help you to uh, how to choose the proper dock leveler for your project. So there's loads of information here, what you uh, which you keep have to keep in mind when you're actually specifying this product. And for the third page here is where you choose your framing of how you want the dock leveler to be mounted in the existing construction. So we have several options here. The T leveler frame for embedding in concrete, leveler frame for welding, flat frame for welding, pit frame for welding, and also box frame. I'll choose the T version here. And as you can see, the geometry changes accordingly and you get the correct profiles. So you, you can easily see how this is uh, applicable into your structure. And I'm actually going to take you through all the variations here so you see what's really happening. So if we select it once again and go in here and choose the uh, W leveler for welding, you can see it changes profile here. And we'll go continue to the F version again, uh, changes to the corresponding profiling. And then also for the box frame here as well, you can see a, bi uh, a bigger change. Uh, but all this makes it easier for you to, to know how to actually place uh, place your dock leveler. And if you continue to the next page here, you will see the different lip options which is available for you. Uh, in this case, we only have the steel lip, but you can change it from uh, standard to tapered or fold down. You have a straight or a bent lip. And you can also uh, choose the lip profile, how, how much of a bevel you would actually want uh, on it. On this page you also have uh, other technical specifications which you can choose. For example, in this case is the oil. In the next page here we have the operating system. Uh, and Depending on which operating system you get different kinds of functions. Uh, standard, optional and accessories and so on. Uh, we have a description page which describes the product uh, in a bigger picture. Uh, also, ARCHICAD specific settings uh, for 2D drawings and 3D detailing, and also finally links back to proper documentation, uh, which will help you in the use of this object. It's uh, it's not necessary for you to use the user interface to actually change uh, things. We have some hotspots in these uh, objects which allows you to actually uh, change things dynamically. In this case, we can uh, lower or higher the uh, the dock leveler platform, uh, and we also have settings for the nominal uh, widths and uh, and lengths as well. So we can change the length here uh, in these steps, which is of course predefined, uh, so that you will never go outside of the constraints of uh, what what can be delivered. And as you can see now, this also applies to the width as well. So if you find this uh, this object interesting, you can uh, surf into the BIMObject.com portal uh, to download them, uh, either that or via the BIMObject app. These objects are also available for you at the Azabloy Entrance Systems private cloud. Thank you very much for watching.